There's been a countless number of individuals who have been screened for the virus in our area, but only a few have actually been tested. As of this morning, only five tests have been conducted in Bay County, all being negative. News 13's Kayla Tucker spoke with health department officials and tells us the difference between screening and testing. The screening and testing is so critical to, to making sure that we have accurate data. The symptoms of COVID-19 are simple, fever, cough, and shortness of breath. If someone is experiencing all three, it's time to call the Department of Health. Then they will go through a screening process that's based on the CDC's guidelines to determine whether or not they should be tested. The screening process includes only questions. Testing is going to require uh, some swabs, nasal swabs uh, that are in a medium, and then that's sent off to uh, labs. Results could take up to five to seven days to return positive or negative. Dr. Speedling says there are multiple places to be tested and more coming. Currently, testing is being uh, held at Florida Department of Health in Bay County at the Health Department and both hospitals. We also have a couple of uh, private physician offices in Bay County that have agreed to test, which is nice. Gulf Coast Regional CEO Brad Griffin says they've equipped their staff to test the necessary individuals. As your risk goes up as being a potential uh, carrier of the COVID virus, then the way that our staff don protective gear also increases. However, individuals are encouraged not to head to the hospital unless it's an absolute emergency. In Bay County, Kayla Tucker, News 13, Panhandle Strong.